Hi, good morning everybody. It's our fifth day here on the islands. Just want to give you an oversight and overview of where we are, what we're doing here on the project. Behind me I've got our accommodation. A large dormitory, there's two bedrooms and a kitchen. Uh, each bedroom under COVID regulations has got two people maximum inside it and it's comfortable. It's got beds, mattresses, bring your own sleeping bag and pillow. Um, not much more to say about that. The kitchen's got all the facilities you could require. Keeps us happy whilst we're here. Over here I've got the military relief base. Guys have had a stressful time. Get some rest and recreation over there. Then behind me on that side, you've got Donkahut, uh, the old whaling station, still part of the military base. They've got a lovely rifle range. And today is uh, Thursday. They normally do some ordnance live firing. So we can expect some nice big booms later in the day. It's always fun and games. I've got whales prancing all over the ocean behind me. I'm um, expecting a lot more to be coming in the near future, but at the moment I've seen a couple of southern right whales and some humpbacks, and all's well in my world. Just another day stuck on a breeding colony bird island. Cheers, guys. Part of the project here specifically, looking after these little Cape Cormorant and just basically uh, keeping an eye on things. Stuck on the top of Justin Hill here, Wind's, uh, wind's picked up, mist is coming in. I'm not sure if you can see that, but from my side, I've tucked myself away. I, I'm still wearing shorts, and the windproof jacket is an absolute must up here. The uh, cormorants are busy building their nests and just putting their chicks into, into bed, tucking them up nicely, and just generally, we get quite close to them, and they're pretty chilled. I guess here I'm about five meters away. You can get a lot closer, gradually, gradually, they become habituated to us. But at the moment, this is about as close as I'm comfortable with. And just, uh, it's nice to be accepted by them. The ornithology is a study of birds, and birds always do things for a reason. There's a couple of exceptions. But it's quite interesting to see how these guys look after their chicks, they're young, and what we can learn from that. This morning, I've got a flock of young cormorants just behind me over here. They are gathering together to go out to sea to go fishing. Um, if you look carefully in the, on the left hand side, maybe you can pick up some of the oyster catches as well. Part of the Pelican Watch on Justin Island is just being aware of what's going on and observing nature. Seagulls whirling overhead, gibbing with dive bombing. Hence I've got the flag up behind me. Um, the idea is that they strike the flag, not you, and you're much better off overall. Today's a really misty day. The fog's coming in from the sea, so we can't see all that much at the top of the big hill. We have seen two pelicans fly overhead. They've now gone around the other side of the island. Um, we've got one volunteer stationed there by the dead tree. I'm patrolling here by the white rock across this uh, exposed shoreline. This is one of the places the pelicans like to hang out. They're nice far away. They can see anybody approaching from a long distance and gives them plenty of time to escape. Right, good morning. We're now looking at the bank hormone cock population. In these six active nests, the idea here is that we actually count all the adults and the juveniles and just see how many active nests we've got going on. Currently 25 active adult or cormorants, crown cormorants, in six active nests. Coming across a little bit, quite a fun one. Down here we've got a creche. So your juveniles have now been gathered up together in one area so that the adults can go out feeding. And then we've got here dead seagull. As you can see, there's a few seagulls in the air, but there's a lot on the ground. This has been dead a while, and I don't understand what's happening. But if I pick him up, watch the seagulls behind me. How's that there? Now, I can't see behind you as well, but you can absolutely hear these seagulls are going mad. Every seagull in the air got up and there. I'll go and move the video up so you can see that as well. This is just tremendous. Yes, simply astounding. I cannot explain this. 
Japanese have been involved in oyster catches or black African oyster catches. These guys are quite fun to watch along the coastline with the waves splashing behind them. We've got quite a heavy sea today, so it's kind of Every now and then you see them jumping out of the waves, just completely at a piece of their environment. I do enjoy spending time watching these guys. Every year we're on here, we'll be 50 to a count and see how many of them there are. There's about 250, nearly 300 probably, and they seem to be doing very well. Hi, Leanne.